decided to make a video before I go to bed. You hear all that noise in the background? It's my child putting his toy together. <laughs> it's not a toy. <laughs> but, um, what happens when I pop my pimples? I get these scars. I'm so fair. I'm so fair skinned. But, I guess I didn't make a video earlier because I just woke up and I just felt like drained. Like I was just so drained when I woke up this morning or earlier. I don't like saying morning, but um, you just wake up and you just have one of those days or one of those morning it felt like a double Monday that's what it felt like today so I just been kind of like low energy today and it was just like I just wasn't feeling it and I have so much work to do it was just uh you know just one of those days but as I'm starting to wind down I am just you know I'm grateful and I'm just so blessed. Like I say, any day above ground is um, a tremendous blessing. And um, yeah, you know, it's just, it just seems like just today, it's just one of those days of just going through the motions. And there's nothing like particularly even wrong. It's just like, the energy is low and it's just one of those days and I was like I felt like making a video but I didn't really know what to say but then it's like hmm, you know you just say whatever you want to say you just say how you feel so but overall I guess just as I'm winding down I'm still up going to be doing a little bit of work but um, you know just as, as you as I prepare to just wind down, I'm just, you know, I just, at the end of the day, it's like when you know that you're growing and you're elevating, where you don't even let certain things bother you, you know, certain things or even people bother you, you're just kind of like, huh, I did good, you know, I did good, I'm growing. I'm elevating, I'm allowing myself not to get so tempered or bothered by people that serve me no purpose or value. And it's like, even with that work, you know, it's just like, it, it just kind of almost like you're in a, I don't give a, you know, I just don't give a F anymore. But it's like, it's a good feeling though. It's just, it's just like, you just can't, do or say anything that's just going to uh, trigger me or even make me even get upset because it's just like, hmm, I'm just going to let God handle my battles. <laughs> like, and it's like, when you say that to people, they're probably like, this broad's a weirdo. Well, am I the weird one or are you the weird one? Because are you, are you upset that I'm not allowing you to upset me? That seems a little weird, so... I'm just, you know, I, can, I think when you're just like in a more like peaceful, zen, happy state, it's like nothing you say or nothing you do has no meaning or has no bearings on me. It doesn't, it's just kind of like the water just, you know, rolls off the back of your shoulders. So it's just, and it's like, that's a, it's a great feeling to be, to be in, just to be in that feeling where you don't allow someone to take your energy and take your power from you. That's a wonderful feeling because if you have the ability to control yourself and control your emotions. I always say that, you know, the one thing as humans that we have the ability to do is control ourselves and control our emotions. We let someone come in and strip us of our power and strip us of our emotions, then they won. They have won the game that they are playing with you. 
So it's like, don't allow anyone to come in and strip you of your power and, and strip you of your being because now you have placed the ball in their court to now where they are able to control your emotions, control how you feel because you allow them to step in and strip you of your power. So it's like when you have the re, when you're able to regain that, it's an amazing feeling, you know? It's an amazing feeling, and it's just like, I guess maybe today was just more of a reflection day for me, you know? Because, you know, me and my life and my drama. So, it's like, when you when you don't allow someone to step in and control you or control your emotions, and you have the upper hand, it's a big step, you know? That's a, that's like, it makes you feel like, almost like a giant. You know, it's like no one can control me and my feelings but me. No one can control my emotions with me. And I think that's just a, a big thing for a lot of people. When you allow people to step in, strip you of your energy, strip you of your power, and now let them control your emotions, that's where anger comes from. And at the end of the day, you should be angry with yourself because you have allowed this person or these persons to strip you of that. When you are, when you no longer allow people to control you and your emotions, you have all the power in the world. And you have now gained full control of yourself. And it's a great feeling. So maybe just today was just more so of a reflection day, you know? And um, like I said, I've just kind of been not in the funky mood, but my energy wasn't as high as it typically is or as as high as I like it to be. But, but then again, that's also a choice that we have, you know? It was just like, no, to be honest with you, like I'm an energy seeker. Like people drain me. And, um, cause that's just, that's just who I am. That's just how I'm, I'm created. I, 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 I will let people just drain me and, and consume me. And it's like, sometimes you just have to take a day for yourself. And I'm just one of those people that I will just, you know, it's just something that happens. It just. I can't control the fact that I allow people to drain me. I mean, I can, you know, if I'm allowing someone to come in and tap in and control my emotions, then I am allowing them to drain me at the end of the day. And it's it's just, you know, everybody just, some people do it for me and some people don't. And then, you know, and then when I get overwhelmed, I just have one of these days, one of these just like drained day where it's just like, I mean, I work, like, I did a lot of work today, <laughs> contrary to your belief, however they say that, but uh, I did, I did a lot of work today, so like I said, since our systems have been down, like, everything that we've been, everything that's been down just kind of came up today, and I had to just, like, knock it out before it just overwhelmed me and consumed me, so maybe that was also part of it today as well, and then it's Halloween, my oldest baby's birthday is tomorrow, so it's just, you know, it's just been one of those days. But, I mean, any day above ground is great, you know, and then being better every day in every way makes me better and better, and it will you too. So, um, you know, just, and that's just another thing. Just, you know, if you're having one of those days, just just do an inventory and just, you know, take it easy. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to have a day, you know, a day of reflection where you're just, you know, gathering your thoughts and preparing yourself for what's getting ready to come. That's just how I feel. Like, and this is just cocoa butter on my face. So, um, and it was just like a, a very low energy day. It was so beautiful outside today when I went walking this morning. It was like the most bluest sky I've ever seen. Not a cloud in the sky. And I just sat there and I prayed for about a 
good 10, 15 minutes and had a good cry and it was just, you know, I don't know if maybe it's because of the Halloween and I don't do Halloween, my children, we don't do Halloween, we don't want to celebrate evilness, I, you know, maybe it's just one of that, it's a full moon outside as well and so it's just, you know, everything that's going around, maybe it was just all the negative energy going around today, it just, you know, maybe it just drained me, and um, it's okay, you know, no big deal, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day, so, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I tap in tonight before I, um, lay it down and just tell you that it's okay just to have a day and take a day for yourself, you know, and then, um, you know, don't allow the people to come in and consume you and, and, and um, project any negative energy on you, because they will if you allow them to, you know, and that will, you know, also allow those negative thoughts to creep into your head, and, and, and also sometimes every, every action doesn't need a reaction. You know, before you decide to just react on someone, just just think before you say things, you know? Because it's like at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people. And you don't want to say something hurtful because you may be hurting and you may be that hurt person. So just approach every situation you know, with a positive mind and a positive attitude. Don't allow someone to control you or control your emotions because that's all they're really doing and that's all they're, they're really trying to do is just to, you know, get you out of character, get you off your square, you know. So that's just another thing as well. It just, it just felt like a draining day. Um, and it, it just was what it was. I mean, you know, it's winding down and it's already nighttime and I got my PJs on. And I'm going to do a little bit of work and probably have a coffee. I don't know why I like to have coffee before I go to bed. It keeps me up an hour longer than I need to be. But I do have some writing to do tonight and some editing. And so I'll be up for a little bit. I might just need a, maybe a half a cup. Maybe just some chamomile tea, but whatever. So, but yeah, just so um, you know, self care, self love is the biggest, biggest thing you can give yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of those people around you who depend on you the most. You know, and start loving on yourself. You know, pray and manifest for everything that you want because you deserve it. Nothing is too big for the universe. It's the universe. So, have a good night. Hope you had a great day. Say your prayers before you go to bed. Ask the universe to take care of whatever you need to, to be taken care of. Just say, hey, you know, thank you for taking care of that for me. Thank you. Thank you for handling that for me, whatever it may be. Thank you for stepping in. Thank you for allowing me to be myself, you know. Thank you for always looking out for me. You know, the universe has got my back and everything is working out in my favor. So make sure to be grateful, gratitude, you know. Why not? The universe loves you. You love the universe. God loves you. You love God. Jesus loves you. Everybody loves you. You just gotta love you. So, have a good night. And be safe out there. If you are trick-or-treating or if you are taking your children trick-or-treating, just, you know, be safe. And, um, what they all say, check your candy before you eat it all or try to eat it from the kids. Just check it because people are just weird nowadays and that's the whole reason why we don't go outside. Oh. I don't know. People are just getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> you know, I just don't want to be involved. But it's okay. You know, the universe and God will surround me around those who need my 
who need me, and who deserve me, and who love me. So, and I'm all for it. Anything else, I'm gonna reject. Like, don't, don't, don't project that negative energy on me. You know, love and peace and blessings to everybody. So, have a good night. Be safe. Talk to you later.